Motivated by inconsistent findings in previous research in this field, our study aimed to shed light into the connection between asthma and outcomes related to COVID-19. To accomplish this aim, we conducted a prospective investigation within an integrated healthcare delivery system in Northern California. We compared over 41,000 asthma patients with an equivalent number of individuals without asthma, matched on age, gender, and racial background. Our study spanned three pandemic periods, pre-Delta, March 2020 to May 2021, Delta, June 2021 to December 2021, and Omicron, January 2022 to August 2022. We collected data from electronic health records encompassing demographic details, comorbidities, COVID-19 test results, hospitalization and ICU admissions, and vaccination status. After adjusting for neighborhood deprivation, body mass index, smoking habits, comorbidities, and vaccination status, we found that asthma patients were more likely to undergo COVID-19 testing throughout the pandemic. In addition, we observed that asthma subjects were less likely to test positive during the Omicron period, with an adjusted odds ratio of 0.92. Relative to controls, asthma patients had an elevated risk of being hospitalized due to COVID-19, with an adjusted hazard ratio of 1.33, but only during the pre-Delta period. Although they exhibited marginally higher ICU admission rates in the pre-Delta phase, this trend was not observed during the Delta or Omicron periods. Notably, the increased risk of COVID-19 hospitalization connected to asthma was more pronounced in severe asthma patients and in women compared to men. In summary, asthma seemed to be associated with a reduced risk of COVID-19 infection, but only during the Omicron period. However, in the pre-Delta period, asthma was an independent risk factor for COVID-19 hospitalization, with a stronger association for severe asthma and among women. Consequently, our study emphasizes that the relationship between asthma and COVID-19 is complex, varying across pandemic phases and patient subtypes. Our findings should offer reassurance to both patients and healthcare providers, indicating that asthma is no longer a prominent risk factor for COVID-19 outcomes. Nonetheless, it remains essential to continue monitoring this association to better comprehend its trajectory moving forward.